Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today we're checking out a Sailor Moon experience, one of Japan's most famous anime series. Before we get started, I do want to thank the MetaQuest Ambassador Program for access to the hardware that we're using in this video, and Viveport for access to this pretty cool experience. So this is the Pretty Guardian... Everything she just said. It's the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal the Movie Commemorative VR Show, VR Dream Flight. Now this is a mostly non-interactive experience, so our controllers are kind of going to disappear in just a moment here. The experience is subtitled. So we're looking for a bell. It literally hovered right in front of me. So that purple prison, I guess, has uh, been shattered by the Pegasus. Pegasus私の本当の名はエリシオンの祭司、エリオス。So until the Pegasus got a little bit closer, like they just look like flat models, but now they do have more of a 3D um, effect to them. And now I think we're going to be flying on the back of the Pegasus. Oh, this is kind of cool. So. For people that are regulars in VR, this is probably not something that you need to do. But if you've never used VR before, first of all, this is compatible with pretty much every VR headset. Uh, even the 3 off Vive headsets like the Vive Flow or Vive Focus will work with this particular experience. This is a very cool uh, overhead of the Sailor Moon version of Japan, actually. But the way that it works, it, it only really needs you to click one time, essentially, to, to get the experience started, and then it's all pretty much non-interactive. So it can work with pretty much any VR headset. You can sit anyone in it. It's not really locomotion. So I think it would be a pretty safe entry-level experience for people new to VR. Oh, 
たがチベサを助けてくれたのねありがとう<笑>ああら仲間が増えたのね<笑>でも無駄よ<笑>さあレブレスちゃんたちこの美しい夢を持つ不幸な少女たちの身も心もいただいてしまいましょうあれが悪者ね Thank you for stating the audio, obvious there. I saw that to Kakui Tamanito. Can't seem to do anything with the little fur balls, they just float in front of me here. The little lightning effect also is kind of coming back toward us. So I guess we need to touch these little grails, I would assume. Maybe. No, they just float in front of us and then float to them. Okay. This is a cool 3D animated sequence, but I wish there was a little bit more interaction to it. This floating around part is actually probably the best part, honestly. I like floating over the city, but this is kind of cool. I wish there was more, like, battle sequence. This actually gives a good idea of what a... JRPG style game that looks like in VR. A pretty cool little uh, five to ten minute experience advertising the film. Uh, it's actually a two part film, I believe, uh, and I believe it's currently available here in the United States on Netflix or Crunchyroll or both. Things got a little weird in the end with all the different companies meeting other companies. Um, but this was actually something that was part of an exhibition in Japan about a year and a half ago and is now available for free download on Viveport. Uh, even if you don't have a Viveport Infinity subscription, you can now download this for free through the end of August of 2022. So if you have the opportunity, check this out. It is a PC VR title. 
Uh, it is just a short demo as you've just seen, but this is pretty cool. Um, I'll share a link in the description. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.